All right, what is going on, my dudes? If you're like me, you probably just had a bunch of six star six stones expire, or you used them before they could expire. But let me explain. When the Grandmaster Gauntlet finally came back, it gave us a bunch of six stones that for a lot of people went into the overflow if you were already kind of maxed out. Well, I needed a place to use them. So I've had my eye on Captain America Infinity War for a very, very long time, and I kind of felt like it was now or never. So I went right in and I go load 125 six stones into Cap Infinity War. Now, if we go check out the overflow here, there is a lot, all right? So there's more than enough to go in and finish off because I also have all these plus fives. I don't want to use too many of those because those are really going to be for like taking a champion from like SIG 1 to SIG 200 when I need to, right? even though I'm kind of doing that right now, but that's for the future. Anyway, we got Cap all the way up to SIG 200. Look at this guy. Look at this man. That is America's ass right there. That's what we're looking at, baby. Look at this SIG ability, all flushed with 100%. You absolutely love to see it. Unfortunately, you know, Cap really does require that SIG investment if you want to get the most out of him. He's still an absolutely wonderful champion, right? And it's absolutely worth the SIG investment if you are a fan of the character. But the thing is, I wasn't 100% sold on Cap, on using everything on Cap. It was between Cap and another champion. And after I finished, putting those six into cap. I said, you know what, man, if we're gonna YOLO, we're gonna freaking YOLO today, and we're gonna do both of them. So I went up to Guardian, okay? Tech Guardian, not Red Guardian. And I said, I have all these tech SIG stones, and I now have every tech champion in the game aside from Silver Centurion. So I can really take any tech champion from SIG 1 to SIG 200 at the moment. And I decided on Guardian. Why? Well, because, you know, I make those like sensational synergy videos all the time. And Guardian and Cap Infinity War are very often a part of those teams. So in the teams that I like to run, these are two champions that I find myself to, uh, bringing along quite often. Now, you know, for Cap, there's of course those cosmic synergies that increase the duration of, of buffs and everything. But for Guardian, he has A, the block proficiency synergy he gives to everybody just from being on the team, and B, the three perfect blocks that increase the duration of the parries, the first three parries that you do, allowing a lot of champions to ramp up at the beginning of the fight much safer, much more efficiently. So for me, having Guardian sigged up and now getting ranked up, man, it felt like something that I should have done a very, very long time ago because otherwise it's just gonna kind of feel like a, a wasted roster spot having a, a rank one SIG 20, SIG 40 Guardian on the team, right? Same thing for Cap, I was either bringing the five star or I was bringing the six star on Duped if I needed to use him with Hercules or for, for other cosmic champions increasing the length of the buffs, right? Plus, I mean, look at this guy, man. He's just one of the sexiest champions to use in MCOC. I've heard many people say that about this guy. He's just so fluid, the heavy, the special too, and now at SIG 200, absolutely beautiful man we got captain america and now we got captain canada going up to rank three two champions i've wanted to sig up and rank up for a very very long time and like i said it kind of feels like it was now or never there were definitely other champions that i were considering taking up to sig 200 but this time around i decided to go with guardian and captain america infinity war and i'm definitely very happy with the decision for both of these champions now when it comes to like usage right and like a big roster like mine i have I don't, I don't even know the exact count of my rank threes at the moment it's close to 90 it's close to 90. so am i going to be using captain america infinity war too often over some of my other rank three and rank four science champions honestly probably not right but if ever he's on the team right or from doing casual questing which by the way is how we spend most of our time playing this game casual questing right bringing him along 
on certain synergy teams, he's going to be an absolute powerhouse. The thing about his SIG ability is that all of these numbers here, they're less than 100% when he's not SIG 200. And you need that reliability at 100%, especially for stuff like, you know, um, on the tech one, 100% chance for a real time block to place a petrify. If you really need those petrifies up, you need to be at SIG 200. Same thing for Cosmic, that's where he gets additional damage from the armor breaks, right? So you just want that reliability of having the debuffs on the parry. But Guardian, is Guardian going to have a use in my account? I think yes. Why? Because of this. 8,591 energy resistance. That is absolutely enormous energy resistance. Bonkers energy resistance, man. Uh, on top of 2,600 additional block efficiency and I usually run the Suicide Masters. I always run Coagulate 3 out of 3. With 80% bleed resistance plus 3 out of 3 Coagulate, he's going to have over 100% bleed resistance. So it's going to be incredibly suicide friendly like this. He's going to be able to heal from energy damage. This dude is going to be actually very, very useful. Now, would I consider taking Guardian to rank 4? Probably not. I've always had like rank 3 SIG 200 in mind for this guy, and that's where he is. And for the time being, that's where I think he's going to stay. Maybe in the future when rank fours are super duper common, like as common as rank threes were like a year and a half ago. Like, yeah, I mean, I'll probably take Guardian up because I, I, I put the 200 signature stones into him, man. So I've done the investment. And same thing for Captain America Infinity War. You know, there are a bunch of people in my alliance last season who used Cap Infinity War quite a bit. Of course, he did benefit from the attack tactic. But another thing is, in Alliance War, every two seasons, we get this new attack tactic where there's a whole giant group of champions, all right? And you never know which one's going to be in it. So if Captain America Infinity War is going to be in one of those attack tactics in the future, well, now I have one at rank three, SIG 200 in the future, possibly rank four, SIG 200, right? So super duper happy about both of these rank ups, man. Feeling good about tossing all those SIG stones, getting a lot of things out of the overflow, man. The tech ones, we're getting close to the brim, getting close to that, that 125 with the sigil cap. So I'm glad to finally use those, man. I haven't used a tech one since I SIGged up Ghost like many many years ago um so yeah man that's gonna be it for this video i do hope you enjoyed it if you did drop your boy a big old like let me know what you think about taking cap in america and cap in canada up to rank three sig 200 both from rank one sig 20 and 40 in the comment section below let me know what you think about that investment in the comment section below and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any gameplay on these two captains coming to you i don't know man probably probably one day i would imagine they're both pretty cool. I haven't really used them much yet. I'm excited to use them. So yeah, seeing you around, man.